name is Sana Solomon. I am a senior at Ohio University and I am an acting major. Well, first, you get the cast list up and then you have six weeks of rehearsal. It's basically like a job. You're putting in 20 plus hours every single week. You do a weekend of tech, which is 20 hours of just being in a space, working with lights and sound and everything to pull it together. And then we just keep running the show for previews and then we open. So when an audience member sees a production, for them it's the first time that they've seen it. For us it's the 25th time that we've run through the show. Even though that we've spent six weeks with it, we need to keep it fresh. The best thing about theater for me is bringing people's stories to life. And so I can just really, really tell the story and use, you know, my gifts to share what I love with other people. What's actually interesting, even though us as actors, we might have six weeks to work with the show, the design elements have to be in place a lot further in advance. It has to be a cohesive idea or else the show doesn't work. So production design consists of two main areas, the design area and the technology area. The design area you can think of as the conceptual end of creating the world, the visuals for the, the scenery, the costumes, the sound, and the lighting. And then the technology end is the actual making or building of the various items, constructing the set. Eventually, once the conceptual work is done, then the technicians get the drawings and those visuals that they need to be, to be able to do their jobs. So at that point, the two areas come together. And yes, a play can be done with just performers, but a play, in my opinion, because this is my profession, is made a lot richer by the conceptual design and technology that then is put forward. Because theater and plays are poetic what we're doing is creating poetic images because to me theater is poetry.